Hello folks, how's it going out there? Hope you're all are having a nice time. Well, today I'm uh, making uh, some uh, mason beehives. In one of my uh, earlier videos I promised uh, that I'll show how I make my mason beehives. So today I thought the right time has come to do so. The first thing uh, I'll do is to um, get a hole of a plank. It's four inches uh, across and uh, I'm gonna carve out some uh, grooves in this one with my carver. I can show you how these grooves look like. I don't know if you can see it here. If you see these grooves here, they are uh, four millimeters deep and uh, the same across. And you can see they are uh, half circled formed. And when you take another plank with the same grooves in and place on top here against these ones here, you'll get holes that are around eight millimeters in diameter. I do many different kind of hives, but I found that uh, this one I'm making today, this type, uh, is one of the best uh, so far that I have experienced. They ain't so uh, huge, so uh, they're very easy to, uh, you know, move around in the garden and uh, don't take so much space. So, come on here with me and let's make some grooves. On this four inch plank, I can get about eight grooves. I will leave a little gap in the middle here so I can get the bolts through it. But I'll show that later, how it's done. Well, the center of the first uh, grove is seven millimeters uh, from the edge here. And each grove center are one centimeter apart. Yeah, this should be good. So now I can start carving here. Well, like this, the plank looks like after it's been carved. I won't be doing any kind of sanding before uh, this plank is cut up to pieces. Okay, so now I'll continue to the next part. Well, after uh, cutting up the plank into pieces like this, take each second one and turn around like this to the opposite side. Then you can see here you get holes here. Each piece is 14 centimeters long. Um, that's because of the side walls. They are gonna be six inches across. And 14 centimeters 
will leave me with a little, you know, a little gap here. That's just what I want to. I'll come back to why I do this later on. And I put them together like this uh, to a block. Um, the thing I'm going to do now is to drill two holes here that goes straight through. When I'm uh, finished drilling uh, the holes here, I take a 6mm bolt like this. And this is going through here. I'm going to cut this bolt into two pieces and each of them must go through the bottom and the top. About this length here, and this one here. So this will be the additional uh, length of the of the uh, bolt afterwards. Like this. So now I'll uh, cut these two here. And now I'm going to make the bottom and the sides of the hive. I got these here from some uh, previous uh, projects and I'm going to use these measures uh, here. Okay, here is the bottom I need two of this <coughs> And these planks here, they are off on one side and um, you know, a nice surface on the inside. So I will use this plain nice surface on the inside. Well now I'm finished drilling uh, the holes in the edges here, the bottom and the top. So 
here are the screws and stuff I'm going to use to tighten it. These are great. So this is how the bottom of the hive is going to look like. I'm going to put on the sides here now. Now we are about at this stage that we can see what the hive will look like when it's finished. The angle that I cut uh, this uh, skew roof is about 20 degrees. Okay. I'll now put some screws in here and on the other side. And now I'm going to try to prevent getting these gaps here when I put it all together. And I use these when the weather change between humid and uh, dry. This wood here, it works very and it's very easy to get cracks and openings. So this is to prevent that happening small gaps anyhow the mason bees will seal okay that was so far now I'll put a couple across here as well and now I'm gonna pre-drill the screw holes Well now I uh, measure up the back side of the hive. I got yeah a couple of inches here, two, three, and uh, I do it parallel here with the bottom. And I'm gonna do the roof. I want the roof to stick out about an inch or one and a half. So I'll, I'll end up about here, I think. Yeah, I think so. It's not so important. Ah, a little bit over, like this. So this is going to be the roof. And it needs to be cut about 20 degrees this way. And that will be 
proximal this I think okay I'll cut these off and now I'll take this back side and um, drill a hole in the top to uh, put a screen and attach the whole hive to the wall so I'll drill this hole here So now, after uh, I have tightened these screws and everything is okay here, I will start the sanding. Uh, I will sand this part here and the roof and the back side. And I will polish the inside of these holes here with uh, a chainsaw file that I use in my drill and just put it down there and uh, you know file inside Now that it's sanded, I'm going to put the roof on top here. I'm going to pre-drill a couple of holes here and put two screws down here. And this stuff here, it's uh, a mix between clay, water and sawdust I made. I put the sawdust uh, into the clay to uh, prevent it from cracking. I use this clay to seal the back side of the um, hive here. Like this. And now it's all ready to put on this back side here. I'll be back then. Okay. So here the hive is finished and ready for use. I can now just hang this up on the wall here and wait for the mason bees to uh, populate this hive here. It sounds like a kind of overkill to make it like this, but I can assure you that it's very easy to maintain uh, the um, cleaning of the hive each winter. It's just loosen these screws underneath here and the sides here. You can take this block out, take it apart, clean it and then put it together and place back again and it's all done. Uh, you can do it very simple by uh, drilling holes into a log or uh, a plank or anything but um, that kind of beehives is very difficult to maintain clean and uh, get out all the clay and stuff and things in there so I hope this was helpful um, I didn't say all the measures uh, when I made this here because it's all up to you how big you want to make your one uh, I often you know, vary a lot with the sizes of my ones. So um, it's just a principle I uh, showed you how to make them. Okay, folks, now I think I'm finished with this and I need a cup of coffee now. So until next time I see you, have a nice time. Bye.